yes welcome back to Hopio's laboratory uh, last time we fixed an iPhone 6 and 6s charging system a phone that was heavily clogged in that and also had a widened port so I thought I should come and review a few concepts about uh, the phone's charging system so if you're new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button here at Hopio's laboratory you shall learn repairs both as a hobby and as a business from home appliances to electronics to smartphones and anything that you can find in your home state that uses power anyway let's get started um you might have noticed that uh, it was an iphone 6 that we worked on last time and uh, i believe that iphone 6 is right here so anyways um let's talk about the charging uh, not charging issue so our case was a situation where we had the port failure and um, that's basically it is an interface now when we actually talk about the port it is basically a simple connection to allow you connect your device to power so that you can recharge it and as such any connection has to be snug in other words not widened and then it has to be firm in other words it should be well anchored to support the pushing and pulling force when you insert it not the bending force never bend your phone's charging system or usb while in the port just push in pull out that's it anyway when we talk about connections uh, you may need to understand one or two concepts here among which is conduction and conduction this is simply looking at conductors uh, that is metals um, things that actually allow electrons to freely flow through them and now when you know conduction and conductors that brings us to the concept of continuity if you're able to measure the resistance or uh, conductance of a wire you should, can be able to estimate continuity continuity simply will imply that uh, um, something is moving from one end and to the other without terminating in between so um, and as such when we talk of connections uh, when we talk of connections um, we shall talk about the concept of uh, soldering I uh, don't mind that I saw uh, something just was weird anyway soldering will bring you to chemistry and in chemistry we are looking at basically concepts of mixtures and ideally mixtures of metals that brings us to alloys and soldering will involve the alloy of uh, tin and lead and that's called solder um, still going back to the pot we have about um, two things that we will specifically talk about the port and that is power and data the port allows you to connect power to the phone and also transfer data to and from the phone now when we talk of power you shall have to learn the concept of voltage and current and that is basically electricity and as such um, there are two things that the port also is able to do that's on OTG enable and audio but that's for later so in this case we want to suggest that the port is actually constituted of the power lines to positive and negative data lines to positive and negative and then the fifth one OTG that's when we talk about your smartphone uh, having said that I think it's only right that we also mention the type of uh, ports you will encounter in mobile devices so we have basically these types types a that's that common usb if you've had a laptop for some time dating back you notice those usbs that enter into the laptop uh, usb port that's usually type a and simply has four connections one two three four uh one for positive power negative power and then the middle two for data and also type b exists but that's typical of uh, printers if you've ever had printers most of the end that end as the printer it will also have four conducting lines to data to power now when we talk of smartphones there are mainly two or three of interest uh, the usb mini but this uh, was from the day of um, button phones or feature phones and they actually had five terminals on top of the two power two data there was a fifth which was to enable um, the programming of the phone in our days it is used to enable OTG devices draw power from the mobile device now the 
other one in smartphones, and this you'll find it in almost 80% uh, of the smartphones that have ever been made. Um, that's the USB micro. I think you might actually have one lying around. These are just sketches to show how um, they would look like. And until recently, we have Type C just gaining coverage lately. And this one sort of has uh, 24 terminals, unlike the 5 for micro and mini USB. That's 4 for power, 4 for ground, and 16 for data, which actually enables it to uh, be used for multiple purposes. Anyway, hit the subscribe button to learn details and uh, share with a friend so that they may not miss out. We need to hit 100 subscribers. Um, we need to hit uh, 10,000 subscribers soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Phone Lookout. See you.